graph, label any intercepts and asymptotes, state the domain and range of the function. f of x equals e to the x minus 2 power minus 9. Let's first label some information. The b value, or base of this exponential function, is e, recalling that e is 2.71, approximately. The h value is 2, and the k value is negative 9. So in this case, the horizontal translation is going to be 2 units to the right. The vertical translation is going to be 9 units down. The general function, f of x equals e to the x, takes this shape. It has an asymptote at y equals 0. It has the point 0, 1, and a curve that increases as we go from left to right. It also has the points an x-coordinate of 1, a y-coordinate of e, and an x-coordinate of negative 1, and a y-coordinate of 1 over e. Let's first shift those points. The first point we're going to shift is 0, 1. 0, 1 shifts if we move it 2 units to the right, the x-coordinate is 2, and if we move it 9 units down, the y-coordinate is negative 8. The next point, 1 comma e, when it shifts, if we move it 2 units to the right, the x-coordinate is 3, the y-coordinate is going to be e minus 9. A good idea here may be to approximate this by getting out your calculator. So in this case, we're going to take e minus 9. Plugging that in, this point turns into 3 comma negative 6.3, approximately. So we should label this with an approximation symbol. Let's shift the last point. And the last point here is negative 1 comma 1 over e. When we shift that, 2 to the right and 9 down. The x-coordinate moving at 2 to, the right, 2 to the right is 1, and 9 down would be 1 over e minus 9. Let's approximate that point also. Well, the x-coordinate is still going to be 1, but taking out our calculator, we end up with negative 8.6. So we already know three points on this graph. Let's now find the intercepts. Let's start with the y-intercept. The y-intercept occurs when x is 0. So f of 0 equals e to the 0 minus 2 power minus 9, which is e to the negative second minus 9. And once again, we can approximate this by plugging this into the calculator. And approximating at the tenths position, we end up with negative 8.9. So the y-intercept is 0, comma, negative 8.9. Let's now find the x-intercept. The x-intercept occurs when y is 0. When y is 0, we end up with 0 equals e to the x minus 2 power minus 9. Let's solve this. To solve for x, we add 9 to both sides of the equation. 9 equals e to the x minus 2 power. Now in order to solve for x, we take the natural log of both sides. The natural log of the left-hand side becomes natural log of 9, and on the right side is the natural log of e to the x minus 2 power. On the right-hand side, we need to apply one of the properties of logs. And so we end up with the natural log of 9 equals the quantity x minus 2 times the natural log of e. But recall the natural log of e is just 1, so the natural log of 9 equals x minus 2. And let's solve for x by adding 2 to both sides. 
So x equals the natural log of 9 plus 2. Once again, let's find an approximate value for this x. So let's get out our calculator and find the natural log of 9 and add 2 to that. And we end up with x approximately being 4.2. So the x-intercept is 4.2 comma 0. One of the last things that we need to find is that horizontal asymptote. The horizontal asymptote in the general form is at y equals 0 in the most basic form. But because of the translations, it translates 9 units down. So the horizontal asymptote translated 9 units down is going to be y equals negative 9. Now let's take all of this information and graph. Our y-axis and our x-axis. The horizontal asymptote is at y equals negative 9. y equals negative 9. And let's label some of these points. The first point, the x-intercept, 4.2 comma 0. The next is the y-intercept, 0 comma negative 8.9. Pretty close to that asymptote. And then those finally those three shifted points. 2, negative 8, 3, comma, negative 6.3, and finally 1, comma, negative 8.6. And let's connect these dots. And here's the curve of our exponential function. The last thing we need to do is to state the domain and range of the function. Let's first find the domain. The domain, like with every exponential function, is negative infinity, positive infinity. And the range. The range is from negative 9, open, to positive infinity.